Hello everyone, it's DeeSpricks here, and welcome to another LEGO set review. Today we're going to be taking a look at LEGO set 76166 Avengers Tower Battle. This set comes with 685 pieces, has 7 minifigures, and retails for, I got it, well I got it at Walmart for $90, so I'm assuming it's $89.99 in the US, and now I can't even fit it all in one shot. It's so tall, so we're going to take a look at the figures first, and then we're going to take a look at the actual tower. The rest of the first minifigure here, we have Red Skull. Now, this is actually an entirely brand new minifigure with a new head and new torso. And the printing on this is just absolutely amazing. Very nice back torso printing, and we got the Hydra logo right there. And it's very a very nice new head for Red Skull. So, I mean, if you wanted to, Red Skull could have a new impression now. Obviously, it still looks... You know, mad and angry, but very great new f figure for Red Skull, and I think a lot of people will find great use out of this. The second minifigure here is an AIM agent. Now, there are two AIM agents in this set, um, but they're made a little bit differently. So, they come with these cool gun builds, which include like a pack of these newer silver pieces, which I actually, this set came with new ones I didn't have. And um, this one comes with a chain and a hook on the end, and there is a play feature with the hook that I will show you later. Um, but they're literally the exact same minifigure, except this one has a chain on the front. And then this one, you can see the torso printing on the front and back. And this one has a bigger gun, which they, in the instruction book, it tells you to give it to Red Skull, but this one actually launches uh, grenades or something, and it actually comes with extras. So you have three of uh, those launching pieces if you wanted to reload over and over again. So... Very interesting uh, gun techniques, and I'm very happy with how they ended up turning out. So people could use these weapons for cool fight scenes if they wanted to. Up next is Black Widow. Now, this is the same Black Widow minifigure that comes in uh, the battle pack with Falcon. And then I I feel like she comes in another set, maybe. I don't remember. Um, But I, I now have how many of these legs? Um... I think three or four. I think I think it's three. Um, because I have two of this figure and then I had those same legs from the black widow. Yeah, I have three. So same hair, same head as they've been using ah, since uh Infinity War, so she's got an angry expression and then like a casual expression. Um and then this one has the arm printing, which very nice for me to now have two of those. And this one kinda the paint printing kinda went over to the side you see there. Well, and then this one, it's just a straight line, so kind of a misprint, a little bit. And then she just comes with two handguns, which um, you are able to put those on something in the tower, so maybe I'll show you that later. Uh, but again, same minifigure, but it's definitely a great one. Up next is Iron Man. Now, this is also the same figure that they've been using. It's from the same figure from the mech, same figure in this set, same figure um, in the Iron Man armory, Iron Man armory. Same minifigure in whatever the hell this figure comes in. Now, he has these cool power blast pieces where if you push down, then they shoot out. And then it does actually come with an extra, so you do get three of these. I have so many. Um, and then they do include a cool um, thing for his feet, which actually reminds me of Infinity War when he's trying to fly up to the, to the donut. And then he has this big old launcher. So... That's just made with a Lego Chima crystal, which is actually genius of Lego to use this technique. And uh, I like it, but it is kind of, I mean, he can stand up, but then you can't see him entirely. Next, we have a couple of Iron Man armors. Now, in the set, this one is called Blazer, but it reminds me of the MCU armor Hot Rod, which I think is what this figure is supposed to be based off of. Great print on the legs. I love the flames there with the mix of dark red and dark silver great torso brand new uh helmet printing just clear head underneath because of uh um it's just the inside of a suit and then on the back great back printing now i don't like how his hands are red they should have made them dark red which i did end up swapping and they did look way better but there are some cool things you can add to a blazer to make him ready for battle you could add these cool flame pieces to his hands along with another big, like, flame blast piece. And then you can add really cool flames to the bottom of his feet to make it look like he's flying, but 
now I do like understand why they uh made his hands red because this piece on the bottom's red, so it kind of just shows the heating of like the metal on the ends there. Um, but still, his hands probably should have been dark red in my opinion. And then the second one here is an extra because I took it off. And then the last one you figure the set is the taser armor, but it's blue steel in the MCU. Now I don't know what mark these armors are. I should have looked that up, but this minifigure is absolutely amazing because I don't think we've ever gotten a dark blue Iron Man armor other than Iron Patriot before. But this is like entirely dark blue and it has great leg printing, great torso printing, a great helmet, and then clear head underneath. And then we have these cool shoulder pads here, or like to make him look like bigger and buffer, I guess. And then you can add this uh, flame thing to the bottom of his feet. And they're orange because most of them are orange on his, on Tony's armors. And then they give you these really cool, like, newer lightning bolt pieces for his hands. So it looks like he's electrocuting people or, I guess, tasing them. And I think it's super cool. And now I have a few of these pieces, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, so now as for the tower, uh, we're going to work our way up. So if we look at the front here, this detailing on it is amazing. I love how they put the dark blue going down, these really cool windows on the side, and then they use the clear, transparent, uh, like, light blue pieces, and then light gray. I love the color scheme of this. It's just absolutely stunning. And if we were to pull this down, this opens up, and you could take out this, like, flying motorcycle, which includes these really cool saw pieces on the bottom, and um, it has jets on top. And the thing you're supposed to do, and we also got a sticker there, and a sticker there. And what you're supposed to do is you take Black Widow. Now, this is what the instructions tell you to do. Bend her all the way over, and there you go. But she could probably, like, barely even see anything, you know? Like, this is what she sees from the front. But that's the play feature you can use with her, or you could probably just put anyone on there. There are no handlebars, so it just, you know, stays there. Or she just, like, stands there. And then it does come off pretty easily if you're not careful. And then it just slides back in to place in there, just like that. And then you can close this up. Ah. And if we actually open it up here, there are a couple of uh, stickers on uh, these pieces right here. It just looks like a metal grate or something. Just nothing too interesting, but I would just let you know, you guys know that there are a couple stickers there. And then in this room, it's actually pretty cool. So we got a sticker over there for the controls on this. And then we got a sticker over here which shows this arc reactor core and then the Avengers Tower. Because this is actually a miniature version of the giant arc reactor that powered uh, like everything Tony had in the first Iron Man movie. And then what's really cool is there's this little thing sticking out. If you push it, it actually like knocks the arc reactor off. And... If you were to look up a picture, this is literally a miniature version of Tony's arc reactor. And then they use these, like, grenade pieces or missile pieces up here. I don't know if they're cameras or alarms or, like, smoke alarms. I don't know what they are, but they're there. And then uh, let's go ahead and move the camera up a little bit. All right, so I tried to move it up, but it didn't go high enough. So in this room, we have, like, just... A rack for their weapons so if you wanted to you could put black widow's guns just like that so you have literally almost everyone's weapons here and then this instead of it being hair oh i forgot to show that the uh, tony stark's hair you could put his helmet there and then we got hawkeye's bow and arrow here too but if you remove this for some reason this set comes with the infinity gauntlet and now in the set it only comes with the space stone and the power stone now I didn't have the Power Stone, so now I decided to put the stones in there, but the Power Stone is somewhere else you'll see in a second, but it just rests on there pretty easily, and I now have the Stark Gauntlet and the Infinity Gauntlet, so that's pretty cool, and I decided to fill in the other ones, and now I'm literally just missing the Time Stone, but I do plan on buying the Doctor Strange Sanctum Centaurum set, but then this just goes back on like that, and now you're probably wondering, well, why is this room over here just empty? Well, that's because this room, hold on, let me take out their accessories here is a place to put uh the blazer and taser armors i'm just trying to clear out their 
pins and everything here is to put the blazer and taser armors uh, so that Tony could work on them. Or if you wanted to, you could open up this front visor here and then they could just fly out ready for battle, you know? And if you wanted to, you from an angle, you could have the bottom and top open and then pretend like the Quinjet just flew out because of how much it opens, you know? And then next floors, because th this is five stories tall, which is absolutely amazing. So in this room, we have the printed uh, piece for the uh, the keypad, and uh, then we have a sticker right here. And now they use these cool laser pieces for a prison, and if you fold this up, the play feature is that you can put Red Skull there, and then he's in prison and he can't get out. Well then on the front, there's a play feature with this little security light. If you push it, it's... Uh, it breaks the windows out so that he can escape, but I find it funny how that window actually didn't want to go for some reason. Um, but I just, I love the technique, and if you spin them, it makes it look like they're, like, maybe just, like, buzzing or something. And then over here, sorry about the wobbling, that's the chairs up there. This is super cool. This is where the per the power stone is. So this is a reference to the scene in Guardians of the Galaxy when they finally opened up the orb. Because these are supposed to be the opposite sides of the orb, and then there's the power stone. But for some reason in the instructions, they tell you to put the space stone in there. So that's uh, very confusing. And then we have a nice sticker on this computer back here of the stone, and then like it's probably telling them, like, oh, this is where it is in the world, or something, maybe what planet it's from, I don't know. And then if we go up in this room, we have another sticker here that says on hold and then it's a picture of Hawkeye which is super cool. And then we have these very nice rotating chairs which I love the new technique they made to give it like armrests. And then over here which is super cool, I've never had this before, it is a game controller piece which is super cool. And the reason why that's there is because you could have like Tony sit there and he could be playing a video game of Captain America fighting Red Skull which I find absolutely hilarious. And it's just a sticker but I absolutely love it and it is so cool and then if you wanted to you could actually take that off and you could switch it out for this news broadcast sticker that says what is aim um which is super cool but i prefer the video game so much and that's what they show in the box and it is so freaking cool it is an awesome little detail that they that i'm glad, very glad they included and then we actually have a door here for once at least to the outside because they didn't have that on the other avengers tower from Age of Ultron, it was just an opening. Um, so then you can close that and be all formal. And then we have the balcony here where, let's take Black Widow, uh, and she could just stand up here, you know, and maybe keep a lookout. And then the, uh, like, actual uh, balcony barrier, whatever, is made very, like, a lot, very improved from the last one. I don't even know how to talk. And then the play feature with this hook is you can hook it onto the side there, and then he could be scaling his way, like, up the tower to get up there and, you know, fight Black Widow, which I find super awesome. But, and then you can just take him off like that. But then there's a play feature where, let's say, oh, this big guy's up on top. And now, this thing over here, well, you might notice, oh, this doesn't look like everything else. Well, that's because it's not, because if you pull this, it actually just entirely just folds and drops like that which is so cool and then underneath that's what it looks like but and then you can just fold that back up and stick it in there and then this a logo is absolutely stunning it is amazing and it is so much better than the sticker one we got in age of ultron i am so proud of lego for how they made this and fun fact uh ash and flash actually turned this a into a four for the fantastic four and you could use this as a baxter building if you wanted to um, but the way that work this works is it's on a hinge there, and then underneath this is actually a tooth piece which keeps this at an angle, and then you put this on to cover it. And so it is a very nice way to get some of these pieces in this nice blue color too. Um, and then up here there's literally just nothing. You could probably put something there, like maybe the Hulk. And then there's a place to like stand up here or something. It's another balcony. And then of course, what is Avengers Tower without antennas? You, uh, you obviously have to have antennas, you know? Um, and the antennas make it super tall. I don't know exactly how tall this is, but trust me. It's tall. It's freaking huge. And 
to be honest, my favorite part about it is is definitely the A logo. They they absolutely nailed this, and I am and you know I actually never originally planned on getting this set, but I'm very glad that I did because this is absolutely awesome. Great MCU references and amazing stickers, especially the little video game over there. Like who knows, I could include that in a stop motion somehow, not Carnage Origins, but somehow in something else and. Um, this set's absolutely amazing, and if you guys really like this, really are, like, thinking about getting this, oh, get it. You should totally get it. It is amazing. And then I am going to make an alternative build of it. Possibly two. I, I'd have to think of a second one to make. I already know what I want the first one to be, but, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my phone down now. Oh, yeah, and it also comes with this, like, um, teal leg removers now i only have two of these so these are pretty rare well that's it for the review of lego avengers tower or what is it, avengers tower battle and i somehow managed to get these guys to just stand up so i'm trying not to bump them but like i said you guys should just totally get this set if you've been thinking about it and it is an easy way to get these new iron man armors which originally I was never going to get it because I was like, oh, I could just order the Iron Man armors, and I could just, I mean, the Red Skull, eh, I don't exactly need it, but I was talking so good about it in Walmart, and then I was like, ah, screw it, I'll get it. And then something really cool I decided while I was in the car on the way home to build it, but then I had to go to work, so then when I got home from work that night, I decided to build it, and I was all excited. I was up to literally 1 a.m. building this. <laughs> um, I decided I'm going to put this in the movie of Carnage Origins, and it's going to be a part of my city. Now, my city's not super big, but it's going to be on the opposite end of the Sanctum Centaurum, because there's going to be a building here, and then four buildings on this side, and then four buildings... Okay, so there's one building here, which would be Avengers Tower. Four buildings here, four buildings here, and then the building here will be the Sanctum Centaurum when I order that. Um, Since now that I have a job and making my own money, I can do that. So, maybe that'll be the next big thing I get. So, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment down below. What is your favorite thing about this set? Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications to know every time I post a new video. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.